welcome back to a new video so in today's set i'm going to be doing like well basically on facebook um there's a nail tech called courtney crosby she done a set of nails that i caught that caught my eye it was like um like an aluminium checker plate nail and i thought it was really cool and i wanted to take that idea and create a set of my own so i'm going to be using madam glam's gel polishes you can get 30 percent off using my code natmug30 i've got perfect black perfect white mahalo and reset i think was the darker gray and i'm also going to be using from nail sugar some silver chrome um i am really enjoying chromes at the moment this is the silver one as i just said you get 10 percent off using my code natmug10 i'm also using this gorgeous bluey holographic mylar i don't use it in a set in the end but i do it's it's new on the website so i kind of wanted to show you it um i do chop and change a little bit on this set and then i'm also going to be using this little silver gel paint pot as well to apply your chrome you're going to need i'm going to use an eyeshadow applicator one of these old kind of ones people don't use these anymore do they do they use brushes now anyway use the clean end don't use an already used end <laughs> so for my chrome nail i'm going to apply it over black I feel like it shows up better on black so i'm going to do one coat of black you might need two i'm just going to do one because it covered quite well it doesn't really matter if it's a little bit patchy because you're not going to really see it because it's going to be chromed now the chrome has to be applied to no wipe top coat a glossy one and it goes on some of them are some of the top coats vary on how the chrome is applied so i use madam glams but i under cure it by five seconds and you want to make sure you see that little dink in the top coat you want to make sure you've got no little bumps because the chrome will show everything up chrome is not forgiving at all um pop it in the lamp as i said i do mine for 25 seconds and then i find that it applies really nicely um sometimes if you under cure it it will go grainy it will look grainy also it looks grainy if you apply it to a tacky the tacky layer of gel polish you don't get that really shiny look and then look when you wipe off any excess chrome make sure you do it with a soft brush not a hard brush otherwise you'll end up with scratches in it and you don't want that so to get that checkerboard look we're going to do the same technique as what i done in the chrome love nail that i done last week I'm going to do th four little lines going one way and then up to that i'm going to do four little lines going the other way and they're kind of gonna every time you move on to the next section the lines will go in a different direction can you see it goes like horizontal vertical horizontal although it's in a diagonal it's really confusing but you then you're going to cure that and then wipe over that again with your chrome and you can do sections at a time or you can just brave it and do like a whole section like the whole nail in this checker checkerboard plate style i'm going to just gently brush off the excess and then i will do a little bit more this is no wipe top coat i think i just said that but you just want to keep doing this until you cover the entire nail and as you can see we're getting that you have to chrome the no wipe top coat after you've done this bit because otherwise you will lose that that checker plate design i hope this is making sense <laughs> so you can do the whole thing as i said or you can do it in sections i done it in sections for this nail because it was the first time i'd done it but then i'm going to do a french nail as well which i done the whole thing all at once and you can see look that design is starting to take shape this is what it looks like when it's finished so we need to seal that chrome in it oh i had a little boo-boo there but we need to seal that chrome in again so i'm going to go over this with the no white top coat to make it look shiny like it is like a an aluminium or a steel checker plate i don't know what you i think that's what they're called there we go that's so cool i love this pop it in the lamp for 30 seconds and then the next nail we're going to do a marble the black is going to be our base color again i'm just going to do one coat you might need two though if you're doing it on a client if it looks patchy 
Um, but this is going to be a marble. So, oh, this was sent to me in the post from Amazon. I don't know who sent it, but thank you whoever sent it. It's a blossom gel or a blooming gel. I'm going to try this one. It's from Emily. Emily? Um, on, on Amazon it was. I, it, but there wasn't a note in the in the packet so thank you whoever sent it don't know who you are but thank you i'm trying it out in this video can you see there on my palette i'm just putting little lines of my colors that i've got for my marble and i'm also adding some of the silver gel paint as well because i felt like i like the silver <laughs> there we go that's gonna do and then i'm gonna use the madame glam ombre brush and the Madame Glam dotting tool for this bit. And the Blooming Gel needs to go over our cured base colour. I'm not putting too much of this on. I just want like a nice even coat. There we go. Don't cure that yet. I'm rubbing the running, sorry, the dotting tool through my gel polish colours. And then I'm going to use the Ombre Brush to scoop that up. And you kind of want to float it over. Don't like brush it on. You want to float it over that blooming gel. And then I can't once once I've finished applying the gel polish how I want it, I kind of leave it for several seconds just to bloom, blossom, spread out a bit. Don't know what the right word is. But also before I cure it, I like to take a wipe. If you wear gloves, just press your gloved finger up against the side of the nail. And then can you see, look, just gently pull away the wipe and it's going to pull off the excess gel polish. And as you do that as well, don't press the wipe or your finger too far onto the nail because it will take away some of that design. But you just want to gently press up and then carefully, I do it quite slowly because it just helps with pulling that design and takes off the excess. Because when you do the blooming gel, sometimes the, the marble nails like this, sometimes people end up with a lot of product on the nail. And if the if your LED light can't penetrate through all the gel, you'll end up with spots under the layer, the top layer of gel polish that haven't cured. And that's when your nails can start to wrinkle. So I'm quite happy with that. I am now, right, so I've cured it. But I'm going over now with no wipe top coat. However, this is one of the things that I change. I was constantly like chopping and changing with this set. I was like, do I like it like that? Or I ended up curing this, but buffing it and then going over with matte top coat. Uh, this is the Mahalo Blue. I don't know if I'm saying it right. I'm going to apply two coats of this. And this one I'm going to leave it's going to be blank i'm just just going to matte top coat this one and leave it as it is and then on the next nail i put too much gray on this so i had to wipe some off but i'm going to go over with two coats of gray and then i'm going to matte top coat this i'm going to chrome it but i need it matte because i don't want the chrome to chrome the whole nail i'll show you what i mean in a minute i'm going to put a bit of no wipe top coat on my palette and then using my my detailer brush i'm going to map out a smile line because i'm going to chrome the free edge now because i have matte top coated that nail bed area the chrome isn't gonna i mean it will stick to it but i can i can i'll show you i'll show you how i wipe it off at the end so i'm going to map out my smile line and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the brush from the bottle and just fill in the free edge so this is what we're going to put the chrome on this free edge is going to be chromed i hope i'm making sense i feel like this is a very confusing set of nails <laughs> so that i have under cured by five seconds so can you see the chrome is going on the matte bit as well so i'm gonna just put it over the free edge wipe off any excess uh, don't worry about the top bit at the minute but we're gonna do our checkerboard checker plate design on the free edge again i brought the other nail over to make sure that the the little checkered bits are the same size as that first nail or as close to the same size as that first nail as possible so that it doesn't look like out of place and odd but i'm gonna fill in this whole free edge section with the top coat and then I will undercure by five seconds. And then here is me rubbing the chrome over 
I had a bit of a boo-boo there. It wanted to touch. The, the lines touched, I think. So I'm going to rub off my excess. I'm going to seal the free edge in with the No Wipe Top Coat. This is sealing the chrome in. And then I'm going to take some isopropyl alcohol once I've cured that that top coat and we're gonna that's just gonna wipe off any like excess or unwanted chrome from around the free edge where we haven't sealed it in with the shiny top coat Do you see Do you see i think that's made sense and then i thought what i do just to tidy up the free edge was just use some of the silver gel paint and go around the smile line. Can you see in the background there, I've used the blue holographic mylar on a blue Mahalo nail. I didn't like that in the end. So, I mean, I do like it, I love it, but on this set of nails, I decided to keep it off. I ended up putting some crystals here. These crystals are Preciosa crystals from Crystal Parade. You can save 5% using my code NAT5. I just felt like all of this in one set was a little bit too much. I thought the silver with the silver gel paint and then the silver hollow from the blue mylar and I just thought it was a bit, I mean if you don't then you can keep them like that. But I decided to remove the silver hollow, the, sil the bluey silver hollow, this one, and because I kind of wanted the focus to be on the aluminium checker plate design and as much as I love the hollow, that see, I just feel like it's, yeah. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. Um, discount codes and websites will be down below for you. God bless. Love you all. And I'll see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.